Gary's an old friend, and so I always tease guys. I always tease Gary. I was like, Gary, you're so serious all the time, which, of course, there's serious business right. going on. Well, I mean, you know what you just did? What? You got me to break out into a smile. See? All right. so, yeah, Gary, you won You won the seat in Alabama. It was a tough go for a while. You won that seat because I gave you the secret evidence, evidence secret uh, uh, formula to winning, and that was just to smile because Gary's a very handsome man. So he smiles, and all of a sudden, all this conservative stuff that comes out of his mouth, people say, wow, he's, he looks like he's having fun. I want to be, I want to be on his side of the issue. So, oh. Suddenly on trade and immigration, people are... Uh, you know, are, are giving him a, a second look because uh, he's he's putting a, forward a good case. So on this issue of trade, uh, now the House gets it, and Obama has made it very clear he's working with McConnell and Boehner very closely to ensure that no amendment, Gary, is on this uh, TPA. They don't uh, want any cur- uh, currency manipulation amendment, which tells us what about what they're going to do to enforce any trade deals down the road. Well, the language in the bill says that nations should avoid currency manipulation. Um, That's not uh, avoid. Give me a break. Uh, There are other issues with it as well, uh, dealing with cybersecurity. I think this is an opportunity if we're going to negotiate a trade agreement with anyone. uh, It ought to be clear that if a nation engages in cyber attacks against uh, any government at any level in the United States or any company, or any individual uh, stealing data, whatever they're doing, they're out of the agreement. We need we need to have some ability to uh, to take on some of these other issues that that you know we talk about all the time about all these data breaches and all this stuff's going on. And most of it's taking place in foreign countries, but we don't do anything about it. So, in other words, if we catch them stealing our intellectual property uh, or or trying to break into our computer networks and in their state sponsored efforts, we can we can. We have probable cause to believe that. Then we can uh, we, we can take them to some international trade body, or we could get out of the agreement. We, I would say that that we they would be removed from the agreement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, if you want to to have enforcement, it's got to cost somebody something. You know, I'm tired of us passing laws that says now this is what will happen really. <laughs> you know, and then we don't do anything. So that that's part of part of it. Uh, I think there's. Uh, well, Obama has said, Gary, Obama has said that he basically uh, implied strongly that they will uh, uh, veto, he will veto any fast-track legislation that is is gunked up with amendments. In other words, currency manipulation, cybersecurity. He said, we're going to well, we'll veto it. And McConnell told the Senate, no amendments. We're not doing these amendments. You can you can try to add amendments on or other bills separately, but we are not going to amend this. Now, what does that tell you? If 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 Boehner basically uh, concludes the same thing, then wh- what are you going to do on this? Well, it tells me that that once again we negotiate against ourselves by starting off with the premise of what will the president do. I don't think that's how you you make policy. And um, you know, here's a president that desperately wants this, and then he's dictating the terms for what he desperately wants, and then I. I I told you this the other day. I just think it's the height of hypocrisy for the president to talk about how this creates jobs for American workers when he vetoed Keystone XL that his own administration estimated would create, what, 40,000 jobs? So I, I, I don't like, uh, first of all, us negotiating against ourselves, and then here's a guy that, that doesn't abide by the Constitution, and we expect he will abide by TPA. Uh, I'm not buying that. Yeah, well, we can expect it from him. What we can't and shouldn't do is expect it from Republicans who campaigned on opposing Obama.